I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna get a hornet man. It's the truth. It's the damn truth. It's your turn, by the way. Because it's level by level and life by life. Ah, hornet man. Perfect way to unwind. After the hell. That was Plugman stage. We yeah. now have something which is relatively easy, as far as I recall. Yeah, Hollow Man stage isn't too bad usually, but it's got these things. Spoilers, Jewel Satellite beats them. Don't don't use it. There's no. No, no, I'm not going to use it. I'm <laughs> going to use something else. Which is I like much how we cooler. both got signature weapons at this point. <laughs> see, I, see, I'm making gravity my thing because last uh, last week after our episode, I went home and I finished Gravity Rush two. Oh, there you go. And now there is a cold void in my heart. <laughs> It was just, it was just so good. It was one of those games which just genuinely lifted me up. And now it's over. Oh well. Should I play it? I think you should, but you, but you should play, you should play the first one. I mean, like, it's, I mean, they are effectively like, the Gravity Rush and the sequel are effectively like two halves of the same game, really. Okay. Oh goodness me, goodness me! Ah, look at this. Come on, come on, come on! What the? It only respawns because you keep on moving back to the left. Uh, I wanted to get that. <sighs> oh, look at it! What the? You you jumped into a spike. Ah, uh, yes, pixel perfect jumping. Another Shouldn't thing I've have done that. Them. Pixel perfect jumping and pixel perfect hitboxes. I should probably clarify. I don't get why these things are in uh, the the wasp stage though. It doesn't make much sense. Flower pots, I understand. See so now that I finished Gravity Rush 2, I need something. I need like a real. I need. I need a real time sink. And I kind of want to play FF15, but I thought I might as well wait for this Royal Edition that's going to be coming out later this year. But uh, I feel like I should play FF15, but I, I just finished Xenoblade, and I'm like, well, do I really want to play another massive JRPG? And I also have Persona 5 to play, and I've not touched that yet. Well, there you go. I think you've just answered your, your own question there. The answer is no. <laughs> Oh god, it's this guy. Well, that was... Uh... That was interesting. Hmm. Can I get rushed out of him? I don't know. Yes, that's okay. Hello? I mean, I'm... Don't entirely sure what you meant to do. Have out? Have I managed to bug the game? No, I just... Shoot them. Oh, there they go. See? Presumably that's how you're meant to get out of that bit over there. Yeah, it looks oh, like... look at that. I can get it. I see don't... if only we see if only we one. Well, oh, well, yeah. There is a way, right? You might as well. Uh, it's... I no, think we can do it with this. Yeah. Yeah. I was going. Oh, damn it! The bombs hate. No. Rush call. Yeah, that works as well. Of course. I don't... No, Black Hole Bombs aren't the... There we go, look at that skill. Beautiful. Perfect. So this shouldn't be too bad. This is like the Bowser fight, you know? Which Bowser fight? Um, the Bowser fight from uh, Super Mario uh, 3. Oh yes, of course, where yeah, where, where he ground pounds the floor and eventually gets... Oh come on, don't let me die. No, no, I'm not fighting you there. I'm not fighting you there, either. Damn it! Can you appear in a place where it lets me shoot you easily? Like that? Oh. Of course. Bless. I'm not pleased about that. I had that guy. If I come in with more health, he wouldn't be a problem. He? I don't know. Is a plant thingy a he or a she? Or is it like... Or does it not conform to the gender binary? Well, do you not remember, like, basic school biology? They are both. Oh yeah, you're right! Huh. 
Did you... Had you honestly forgotten that? Yes, I had. My god. You don't have to go... You could just walk past. Yeah, yeah, I, was, you yeah I was trying to jump past. Oh. Easy. Easy. These guys. Oh man, look at that. Oh. 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 oh, yes, yes! We got the Vanquisher achievement. I don't know what that does, but... Oh, 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 yes! I'm impressed with that. Uh, and you want to go down to the left? Oh, oh, so good! Oh, look at that! There was no actual need to do it that time because oh, yeah, like, but, you know, you know, that's how like that's how I would have done it. Of course, because you totally knew the life was there, right? Yeah. But well, you know, if you hadn't got it, that's true. Ooh. Almost got him. Oh, and then you jump on the spikes. Ah. Oh. See, I was doing well there. You were doing very well. I thought you had him. So that's such a surprise tone. Wow. T, good at these old school Mega Man games. I kind of always expected that you would be. It's just you always look the that you're not. And so, do I believe what I think is true, or do I believe what you're telling me? All I can tell. All I, all, all I can tell you is that I like games where I can just, you know mash stuff and kill stuff with, you know, big swords and stuff. So Platinum Games, then? <sighs> you, say, you say that, but near, near, near Automata, it kind of it kind of lacked a certain thing for me. Yeah, but I don't think that's a typical Platinum game, you know? Yeah, but no, but, no, but I mean, like, I think, like... Well, first of all, I think, like, the combat was fairly mindless, even by Platinum standards. Oh, yeah. I didn't like the combat in there at all. Like I mean, <laughs> so I, th I think Met personally, I think Metal Gear Revengeance had the best platinum com combat. I mean, really? Yeah. Did you play Bayonetta two at all? Yeah. I, I thought Bayonetta two was better than Revengeance was, but or at least I kind of felt like I got to grips with the combat in Metal Gear Revengeance like better than I did in, ba in Bayonetta. But also, I feel like Revengeance would have done better on a motion control platform. On a motion control platform. Yeah, because like the entire point is that you swing your sword at the thing's hearts to get bonus life back and stuff, right? Yes, yeah, that is a point. I mean, the the whole oh, what, what is it? The uh, uh, I forget. Is it the Zan Ketsu? No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. That's the no, wait a minute. That's Odin's special move from Final Fantasy. No, wait, what am I thinking of? Well, anyway, it's, it's basically the the whole cutting system yeah, in, sure. um, in, Me in Revengeance is very, very fiddly, and it's the main reason why actually it's so difficult is just because like it's just fiddly to. Oh, oh. gee! <laughs> you can get out of this. You can get out of this. No, you I can't. You black hole bomb the thing to shoot the platform above you. An element of strategy that simply bypassed me. I... See, I told you, I'm a, sim I'm a simple man. <laughs> I like how we're like, Hornet Man stage isn't too much of a problem and we can't beat the first half. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I should have done this, this is much easier. No. Yes, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, there we go, that is core Mega Man skills. You mean a cheesy strat? Yeah, I mean... That is Quattro for Maggio. <laughs> Quattro for Maggio. Oof. What's your favourite kind of cheese? Oh. So there's this cheese that you can basically only buy in one part of Switzerland. And um, you have to buy it uh, very select, very select outlets. Um, and it's basically a camembert with... Um, basil on it. Oh. And it is the most delicious thing ever. Um, but um, yeah, since you can't buy it outside Switzerland, or even like outside that one part of Switzerland, it's something that pretty much you can only ever have like once a year. Oh, okay. they, they also they also do a camembert with uh, pepper and pep pepper and cognac. And one with mushroom truffles in. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a thing of beauty. Oh god, I messed up. I take my cheese very one. seriously. No, I'm not finding you there. But you know, I'm not picky. I mean, you know, I'll have some sandwiches 
st standard, standard extra mature cheddar. Extra I, mature I cheddar. I do love onion. mature cheddar now, you know. I used to not eat that. You found it too strong, and then you know, you persuaded me that it was the best thing in the world. Oh, I went used to it. Cheese and onion toasties. Come on! Got him. Easy, really. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I mean, we only died like uh... three times on it, two times, a few times on that. Somewhere between one and a kajillion. Oh boy! Oh, got me. Snip, In... snip. Yeah, those scissor thingies are quite nasty. I'll need to find a way of dealing with them. Or just, you know, take the damage. Well, I have a way. You have a way with... That's your way of dealing with everything. Oh. Okay, so clearly it's not a way that always works. No, not always. <sighs> you see, the problem with the, the problem with the black hole bomb is that it triggers before I... It tri I need to fire... I need, I need to trigger the, the rolly out bit yeah. when I'm, like, right next to it. So that I can have time to jump over at the end. Oh, what? I forgot they did that. Spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was horrendous. I'm very embarrassed. Even by... Wow. <laughs> I, I'm very embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, there you go. See? They go all the way back. So my plan of stalling oh, in one stage oh, oh, oh. doesn't work. Oh, goodness me. You can oh, make goodness this me. Fun. Uh, do I rush it? Do I rush it? You can rush it if you want to. Oh uh, no! Ah! Oh! Should have rushed it. Should have rushed, rushed it. it. Should have rushed it. Oh well. Lesson learned. Lesson learned very very hard. Oh, I have to start on this much health now. Look at this. Hmm. That's okay. I don't need health to win. The perfect argument. If you were really good at Mega Man, you wouldn't need. You Damn it! You wouldn't be taking any damage. Wrong weapon. Oh boy. Can I have another go with full health this time, please, T? Okay. There will be a price to pay at some point later on. Okay, fine. I don't know what that price is going to be, but I accept it. People wonder why I'm not good with money sometimes. Oh, God, no! <laughs> Do you just not get it? Springy, rolly things. They spring and then they roll. Oh. I got onto that, realised the moment that happened what was going on. And tried to correct and it, it just all went horribly wrong. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Yes, well done, dude. Skills that pay multiple bills. Oh god, it's a cactus plant. Okay, right, that's it. Chris going around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, so satisfying. You, you know what you can do here? It's it's too easy. It's it's just hoover them all up. Hoover them all up. Oh. What the? Not the oh, you got him anyway. Beautiful. Did his hitbox get bigger when he activated something? I guess so. It's probably one of those things where, like, you know, he moved, like, one pixel to the left and that suddenly made put him inside the radius. Yeah, I assume that's what happened. Unless the radius of the black hole bomb... ...changes? No, it doesn't. It stays constant. I think so, anyway. Brave work there. Oh, boy. Hmm. You really don't like fighting that robot, do you? <laughs> That's quite clever, actually. I like that. Didn't work, though. Beautiful. You know he's going to respawn, right? Yes. Yes, I, I knew that. You didn't know that, do you? Fiddlesticks. Okay, so what you want to do is just run past everything. 
and damage yourself to make get past him. Or you could kill him with laser tridents. Oh, for God's sake. There we go, you got him. There we go. Wow. The That's easy... a pretty easy life. I was going to say, is, is, does, this, does this forebode something? I remember Hornet Man being quite difficult as a boss, but I don't remember... But I, as I recall, I beat him with his weakness weapon, and we don't have it, so... This is going to be fun times. And what is his weakness weapon? Fire. Hmm. Uh, bees are weak to fire, apparently. I'm pretty sure everything is weak to fire. That's true. I mean, it's a fundamental constant of the universe. Apart from Smash Woman. Smash Woman isn't weak to fire. Because the, the fire doesn't start on the stage. If you're a watery robot, then maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I think you stick with Laser Trident or Mega Buster here. And see what you can do. Time to fumigate this sucker. Alpha! Bye bye bees. So, well, maybe not. They're more hornets than bees. Yeah. Well, that, uh, that was anticlimactic. That was anticlimactic. Oh well, I've, I, I've got this, I've got this, I promise. I will use a Mega Buster and I will beat him. Somehow. I'll beat him. I'm a genius, that was such a great fun. I'm not gonna even dignify that with a response. Damn it! <laughs> oh, I almost got him. I could have E-tanked as well. I, I had that in my head that I could E-tank for him, but I didn't think I wanted to. Hmm. You know how bees, um... The, the, the um, it's a tactic evolved by bees to deal with um, hornets in Japan. Oh, really? Because Japanese hornets are absolutely freaking goddamn massive. Yeah. Basically, what a hornet does when uh, it locates a beehive um, is basically it'll scout out and then it'll go and alert all its hornet buddies. And its hornet buddies will like run a pain train on the beehive. Pretty much, they basically all they all they all come back and you know just destroy everything. Like it's you know it's 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 like Godzilla. They just kill everything. Okay. So what the bees do is when they when they see a single hornet has, you know, the advanced, you know, the advanced party, um, what they do is they basically all swarm it and they cluster around the hornet's body, and they basically then start vibrating their wings really, really, really quickly, which generates intense heat. They literally cook the hornet to death. That's amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that's why. I'm gonna guess that's why hornets, hornet man, speak to fire. I mean, it could also just be the fact that you know, if you try setting a if you try setting a bee or wasp hive on fire, probably everything will die. No, I like your first theory more. I think that's a lot better than the second one, which is things when set on fire tend not to survive. I was going to say because otherwise that'd be pretty much every single robot in this game. I think Concrete Man could take fire pretty well. Ah, these bees! Ah. For the record, I think the uh, laser strike is going to be bad at this because it one hit kills the bees, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it does. It ah. It's not quite so easy, beezy as I thought it would be. <laughs> Easy peasy. That's horrendous. <laughs> I've got more. I can't believe it. Subtle. Subtle. Yeah, I know, right? Look, we'll beat him in the end. We'll be fine. You already used that one. Damn it, sorry. 
<laughs> Don't make me berate you. Oh god, I'm out of ammo. Um, I wonder if this works. Yes! Uh... This won't kill it, but it will do some damage. No, not that. We want to go back to the boss now. And then we go back to your satellite. Put it on. Back to the Mega Buster. <laughs> so yeah, if, if there was an achievement for beating the entire game without... <laughs> yes, got him! The entire game without dual satellite, you would really struggle, wouldn't you? I would really struggle, but... It's dual satellite! It's amazing! I guess you could say that was pretty beautiful. <laughs> now watch me, what am I saying? That sucks. <laughs> cut that out. I'm not going to cut that out. That was an amazing pun. Uh... And now we get to summon bees. They're hornets. Hornets, bees, same thing. They even make bee sounds, like a bee every time you summon them. That's not... A bee noise. That's a bee noise. Bees say bee, that's how it works. Yeah. Anyway. Yay! Yeah. Does he now have a gun? No. He can fly though. Well, okay. Which makes me very happy because now we get to do easy mode version of Tornado Man at some point. <sighs> uh, so, Tornado Man stage is an absolute nightmare. Unless you have the rush jet power up, at which point you just fly over most of it, it's great. I'm sorry, he's a robot dog. Why is he not like, why is he not like a tank like Lupus from Jet Force Gemini? I don't know. Jeez. Not like I do not think there has been a dog in video games as good as Lupus from Jet Force Gemini. Now I'm gonna have to think of now I'm gonna have to think of other dogs in video games. Yeah, so Thread, that's your challenge for this week. Aside from picking the remaining three bosses in the order that we do them in. Who is the best dog? Who is the best dog in video games and why? That's your homework. Uh, and I want to see essays written, at least 300 words. Show you're working? Show you're working. Oh boy. Show you're working. Uh, but yeah, that's been us. Uh, we have three more bosses left, and then we go on to the mysterious Wily Castle. <laughs> oh god. Wait a minute, do we have the DLC in this? Oh, we do have the DLC. Oh boy. Uh, uh, fake Man, isn't it? So we can do the Fake Man DLC if we want. We'll ask the thread. Uh, I think we should. I think we should. But we're not going to do the DLC that's like doing it the game as Proto Man or doing the super hard version of the game. No, no, I think I can, I think I can live with that. Uh, although if we have to do bonus episodes, I might do the super hard version of the game as a bonus episode. Isn't that just me swearing for like the best part of five hours? No, bonus ep- well that will be me swearing for the best part of five hours on stream and it will be very, very funny. Oh boy. Yeah. So there you go, thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, this has been Enough uh, 20 Octa T, uh, dealing with some Mega Man 9, and we will catch you all next week. I've been trying to think of some kind of B-related pun that I could sign off for the last five minutes. I've got nothing. <laughs> See you all next week, guys. Bugger. Okay.